I took like a week off of like being high all day every day. Yeah. And uh, it, I, it really helped, it and I'm, I gotta, I gotta get back to it. But I'm addicted. I know it feels so good, especially if you're not, so especially good. you're not drinking, and then you're lying on the couch just looking at your weed. You're like, right. But I got to the point where I was smoking, and I was like, I wish I wasn't high. I wish I wasn't high. That never happens. Well, just like not right away. Like two hours in, you're like, I gotta stop smoking. No. Then the next day, I don't feel that. Smoke. I don't ever feel that way. I, was, I feel that way if I get if I'm really tired mm-hmm. at a time that I don't want to be tired Me, yes. at, and I'm like. Fuck. Why did I smoke weed today? I, smoke weed? I was like, I got caught up like for the whole last year smoking before going on stage. And oh it yeah, hurt, it hurt me a bit. You think so? Like your career? I've, mm, not my career. I just feel your, your like I feel like I lagged. Up, yeah, I feel like I was hitting a wall and yeah. then stopped and just yeah, way sharper. But it, like stopped. when you're on the road, it's like I know it's so hard. So you're bored. like, oh god, I'm all I'm gonna do is smoke weed today. And like. How to tolerate the people at the club when you get there? <laughs> <laughs> like, and the other people on the show. Sure. Hey, man, can I ask you something? No. And you, mm-hmm, and you there's can. also a part of me that's like, maybe I'm funnier. Me too. And then, and I never forget that me I'm too. not funnier when I'm when I'm high. I always thought I was, I was funnier like, when I'm high. I think I'm funnier. No. And then I watch the tapes. I'm like, you fucking retard. Right. And I'm like, what was I talking about again? I'm having a good time smoking weed before my spots now. Like, I took, I'll take an edible now and yeah. just go up because. I have no material, so I'm just yeah, because like, you just filmed yeah yeah. So I'm like trying to like just figure it out yeah. And the best way to do that is like is when for me is to like fail yeah. with ideas yeah totally. And be like, and is this like, anything? Is and then you can be like, whatever, I'm high. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. audience is like, if all else fails, you go. <laughs> we thought something was up. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Although there's so many times that I'll say like, <laughs> I'll go, oh, sorry guys, I'm just high. Yeah. And then it's become more now. It's yeah. like It's like eight out of ten shows. I'll go. Sorry, guys, I'm high. Yeah. Thinking, thinking they're going to be like, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. And it's like I'm telling them I'm on drugs. And they're like, I know. Oh, yeah. I, when they, yeah. Do you remember that Memorial Day, like years ago, when I got plastered, hammered? And we, I came to New York Comedy Club. We were drinking on Stewart's roof. And then I came to New York Comedy Club, hammered, blackout. Uh, maybe. It was, it was like oh. Memorial Day. I, don't know. I was you, wearing you, huge pants. <laughs> you do come hammered to a lot of places. Yes. True. And you're you kind of are a liability when you're hammered. Yeah. Like well, we I remember being at the stand one time and you you were so fucking drunk and you would just talk shit to people. I know. Like you it's she would so talk bad. shit to me about people that are literally standing closer than you guys <laughs> are now. And she'll be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing here?" And he'll hear it, the she'll hear it, and I have to and it's the worst when someone does that to you cuz yeah. I want to join in yeah, with you. Like, but I'm like I like him. Yeah, you go, <laughs> what, "What's your problem?" <laughs> yeah. That is actually a big reason I stopped cuz I was like talking too much shit. Um, and people, you know, people turn around and fucking... It, all it takes is one fucking... Is two people to be like, isn't Maddie a cunt? Mm-hmm. And then you know? boom. And then boom. Boom. You're, you're fucked. Sorry boom. to say cunt. Are we recording? Boom. No, let's start now. I also don't like when people, like, see you not dancing and they're like, come on, dance! Come on! They're like, it's my fun is not dancing. Like somebody that's like, well, like oh, mm, that whole fucking thing. I hate that. Every time someone goes like that to me, I'm like, ha, ha, <laughs> The DJ's like, what dance is that? That's a dance, bro. Everybody do the hang yourself. Welcome to the Bad House, the only podcast hosted by Maddie Smith. Believe it or fucking not, uh, there's other fraudulent podcasts out there. They are not me. Okay. What really? No, I was just joking. Uh, I don't know. It's like funny to say. Like, oh wow, I'm Brendan Sagalow, <laughs> yeah. and I'm on the one and only Madhouse this week. Brendan, look at the camera. Tell us about yourself. Really? Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> uh, give us the whole. Give us the rundown. The elevator is this pitch. This what the podcast is. <laughs> yeah. That, I just, just do it make, over and make, over again. You make people uncomfortable. Yeah. That's so funny. We both have a podcast where we just make the guests uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm Brendan Sagalo. I'm on Madhouse this week with Maddie Smith, the one and only, and about me, huh? Okay. Yes. Fat. <laughs> 
hate myself. They knew that. Audio shout they out, fat. That. Audio shout out, fat. If you guys are listening, huge. Video shout out, hate myself. You can't see, you can't see it in my eyes, but uh, we can actually. Can you? Yeah, yeah. I the really little bit like of eye that's coming through. Yeah, I mean, my pupils are so small. It's you do crazy. Have tiny little eyes. I look in my eyes sometimes, and I'm like, I kind of hate them. In okay. a way, because they're the pupils are so fucking small. You're, you're, they're small. Anyway, I'm funny. <laughs> Uh, I rap some. Yep. Um, uh, While and Out has not looked at my audition tapes. Yet. Yet, I, yet, yet. No, I'm past yet, it. Yet, yet, yet. No, you I, could. I sent them t- tapes twice. You, and did they respond at all? Um, It said, uh, they just sent me a picture of two guys kissing. Oh. I don't know okay. what that means. That That's sort of their automated response for gay guys. So. <laughs> How do they know, though? <laughs> they, yeah, they know. I mean, I guess I should change my email from brendanlovescock at gmail.com. Yeah, th- I think that's where you went wrong. And I know you were talking about roosters, but... I love yeah. roosters. <laughs> Stupid. I, I, wish I, had, I wish I wasn't filled with yes men in my life. I, you know yeah, what I mean? I, know. I showed all my friends brendanlovescock at yeah. gmail.com, and I went, do you think... Anybody's gonna like and this? Isn't like no, dude. You grew up on a farm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not, no, dude. Definitely not. <laughs> no, no, no. Definitely it's, not. Yeah. So you got to get rid of the yes men in your life. And Absolutely. Get, get some people that'll tell you how it is. Yeah. Like yeah. someone that'll look at Maddie and go, "Ew, <laughs> right." I can't believe you went out like that. Look at that shirt. Disgusting. Right. Yeah, just an abu- abusive oh boyfriend. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. Poor slut. I wouldn't call it abusive Fat. slut. <laughs> Skank. <laughs> Have you ever been having sex with somebody and they'll call you? a slut or something like I've that. I've never had slut. I've had, I've actually never had someone You've call had me someone a slut just straight up sex, puke. But <laughs> yeah, I've had people puke. I've had people go soft inside of me. Really? Uh, actually have. I've yeah. never gone soft inside of a Brag. woman that I hadn't already come in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like so, without okay, telling so them. Came, <laughs> without telling you them. You came and then went soft? Yeah, yeah. Like I had my, my, my high school girlfriend who I don't even want to say I used while to, you're this at the while you're this age. Yeah, yeah. My girlfriend who's in high school now. She should be having lunch actually. Can we call her? Um, she gets mad if I don't call her. She's staying on campus today. Yeah, she's actually at a JoJo Siwa concert <laughs> right now. But um, no. Uh, when we were having sex, and I didn't have the sexual maturity to be like. Hey, uh, I'm about to do my thing. Right. You know it, what I mean? Yeah, back then you just <laughs> now I just went yeah. like, oh, so you know, oh, and, but fuck. but in your head when you're a young boy and you're like filled with all this uh toxic masculinity, right. yeah. you're there are like you wanna last long. You wanna be like, I last long yeah, and last stuff so like long. that. I had sex for 40 minutes last yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So many different positions. I last long and she'll she's gonna be so rewarded and she's yeah. so sexually re- so sex- rewarded all the time. Throwing her all over the place. <laughs> and then I had sex with her and I uh, did my thing inside of her. And I didn't condom, t- no condom, no condom. Raw in high and school. I, yeah, we used wow. to go raw in high school wow. a little bit. And then, uh, and then she, um, she could feel that I wasn't hard. Okay. And she put her hand down to my co- yeah. uh, penis. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to be not as dirty so that you can make money on the monetization. Oh, all good. You could say cock, cunt, bitch. Actually, cut that Fart, out. Fart, shit, cunt. Fart, piss. Toots. Piss. Um, so she goes down, touches your cock penis. My, my cock penis. Cock penis. <laughs> my cock penis. Um, that's Jack Black's dick. That, my yeah. cock penis. scooby de doo Anyway, whatever. Um, and she goes, she went to feel the, if it was hard, and she went, like this. Oh my God. She like, and it wasn't hard. But didn't she, she know like, you not? I didn't tell her. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So yeah. she did a little check. Was she, she mad? I mean, she was always kind of generally mad at me. Right. That's high she school was always relationships. Kinda like, you know? Yeah. There wasn't any, again, no maturity to communicate like, hey, you know, like mm-hmm. it's okay. Right. If you want to come, just tell me. Yeah. Just t- yeah. Don't be yeah. thrusting your fucking <laughs> gum cock inside of me. Your boneless wad of fucking play doh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, don't take your goos. And so she was like, "Oh, what the fuck?" She, yeah, she, she was kind of like, "What the fuck?" Like, because she took it as, "I can't get hard for her." Right and at I age was like, seventeen, more than you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I went, "No, it's not it at all. Not only can I get hard for you, I come right away. You're so beautiful. You're so hot. Oh. <laughs> You're so hot. I nutted so quickly. You're so tight." <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's every high school relationship, just mad at each other all the time. Yeah, she. She hated me. It was, it was, she's mad at me because she does not like me and she's found herself in this relationship for some Mm -hmm. reason. And me incredibly depressed all the time Mm -hmm. because 
I'm dating someone who I really like right. who does not like right. me. Right. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. You're currently in there. <laughs> right. I'm always there. <laughs> I'm always there, dude. Ah. My first boyfriend in high school hated me. Really? Yeah. Why? And I was literally be like, do you not you were like fat? Me? I wasn't fat in high school. You weren't? No, I got huge at the end of college. High school I was more like like soccer player like oh really like just bi a bigger i have a different i was maddie like in my high school maddie in my head yeah is, high school maddie was is like fucking lena dunham walking around oh not at all i was like um confident but fat right no i was athletic i was like athletic really i wasn't skinny but i was like are you athletic now now i am yes like in what way i go to the gym every day is Does that, that count as being athletic? I mean, I can't. I can't be the one to speak on this. I would say I'm athletic. Obviously, this is like a white guy talking about Kendrick and Drake. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, I, I I don't have the right to speak on this. But I would say I'm athletic. Why? What do you do? You fucking you. Uh, I you, you cha, what's um, that thing? A With shot the plate, put. The shock put or the uh, discus? You do you play discus? They swing it around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm. Ooh. Whoa. Oh what? god. Oh, my armpits are really hairy. Sorry. <laughs> you look like a. You look like a Tim oh. Burton skeleton. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but then at the, I got fat Ugh. in college, like end of college. I, you got to get I fat ramped again. ramped up to like 200 pounds. This is pounds. disgusting. I know. I'm so lame. <laughs> I'm so fucking tiny. <laughs> um, but my boyfriend, 6'5", uh, huge cock. Yeah. Huge. <gasps> really? Huge hated cock? Me. Yeah. I would be like, do you not like me? And be like, no, I like you. <laughs> oh, God. Convincing. That sucks, dude. So convincing. That sucks. Begging your boyfriend. High school to relationships know, like, oh, are awful. So so awful. Awful. Did you have multiple boyfriends in high school or Two. just one? Two. First one, big cock, huge. Uh, he What's hated me. Name? What was his name? Eric. Oh. Yeah. Eric with a big cock. Eric with a big cock. <laughs> nice. He, like flapping around. Mm. Flapping around. Like, Would it hurt? I, we didn't fuck. We didn't fuck. It was like freshman, sophomore year. Thank God. Because if we fucked, I would be what two different people. Him? Everything but. Everything but. Uh, I blew wow. him. Wow, everything he, but. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, that's pretty mature for high school. Only anal sex. <laughs> yeah. you, go, you go everything in the butt. <laughs> everything but. He goes for the vag, I go lower. Lower. Lower, yeah. biatch. I need, I need you to scoop Lower, around. biatch. Wrong yeah. hole, honey. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we did. Uh, and then uh, his dick was so big that like sometimes he couldn't come because right. it was like, so big. Why? Because it would take a long time for yeah. him to come to get from his balls to the end. Yeah, and the blood to like fill it up. Yeah, he has, to, he has to. He has to pump it he up. He had to pump it. Oh my god! Lying on his back. See, I think I'm the perfect Huge. guy. You know, tiny right. dick. I come real fast. Right. Easy I, peas. I think that's great. You're back, back at the movies. And then it's like, oh, there's like some squish there, so you can like really just like get comfortable. Yeah, there is some <laughs> squish there. I, you know, it, some women find this very attractive. My mm -hmm. squish. I know. You're like the kind of guy to be like, girls would be like, wait, am I, why am I like? Yeah. Why? Yeah. And that, and I'm totally cool with that. Right. I'm totally cool. That's how I get you. Mm -hmm. That's why I get so <laughs> mad when women aren't attracted to me because <laughs> there's a part of me, like, I always know when someone's not attracted to me and I'm like, oh, you're just some hot chick that would right. never find yourself with a fucking fat guy like me. And then there's a part of me I'm like, you don't even know how great I can make your life. You know what I mean? How awesome I would be. The conversations, the laughs. The laughs. Yeah. How good of a boyfriend you would be. Every time some fucking hot skank just walks by me <laughs> angrily. I'm always like, you have no... F it makes me mad. It makes me mad. I'm like, you have no idea what you could... Like, fuck you. Fuck it makes me mad. I go, I, go, I go, all right. But you get... You get it. You... Yeah. You get... Well, I'm currently seeing someone shit. now. And you, you've been... See, you see yeah. people I see people all lot. the time. I'm, You're kind of always taken. I'm always taken. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a very good relationship guy. Yeah. You know, in a way. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I'm just good at it. I, I guess. feel like you hit it off with girls too. Yeah. And, and I don't, I'm not like a guy, I don't like to like juggle a bunch of girls. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like aftercare. You know what I mean? <laughs> How could I be kissing some <laughs> other girl's forehead and texting some other girl at the same time? You know, right. like that doesn't feel right to me at yeah. all. Yeah. So I'll stay with somebody and then they'll be like, do you want to just date? And I'm like, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. But then everybody loves to be like, you are a masa uh, 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 serial monogamous. Oh, serial monogamous. <laughs> and and I'm like, no, it just fucking works. Everybody yeah. tries to put labels on people. Mm, like, right. you, you're a serial po <laughs> polyamorous. <laughs> Yeah, Polly. <laughs> yeah, you're serial Polly. <laughs> to me, it just sounds like a lot of work. Also, if you've been Why? in uh, polyamory, oh like, yeah, and mix like having a bunch of people at yeah, once, and yeah. like 
if you, I've always been like on the market for, I'm kind of similar to you on the market a little bit and then boom, right. fuck someone who I enjoy talking to and then he's my boyfriend. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Cause I don't really like fuck anybody that I don't enjoy being around. Me too. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, why then? Yeah, people do that, and that's why they're not getting in relationships because yeah. they're like, I don't even like talking to this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, what do you do? That's why yeah. another reason why coming fast is great because mm -hmm. the majority of me seeing someone new is not me coming. Right. Like, it's us. It's all the, what movies do you like? Movies, <laughs> music, eating, walking around in public. Showing them 8 Mile. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl I've ever dated, I'm like, you haven't seen Eight Mile. Okay, we're putting it on. We're putting it on yeah. Eight Mile. I actually only Do you watched have two it recently. Hours? Really, for yeah. the first time? Yeah, good movie. You know, first time. You know, it is a good movie, and I will always hold hold that. But the last time I watched it, I was like. Does this kind of suck? Maybe because you've seen it 50 times. I'm like seeing the hole in, in everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm like wait. mouthing it. <laughs> Does this kind of suck? I actually, I don't He's know. choking. I it's, it's a great movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. With a lot of people, exhibits in it. Well, exhibits in it all. Uh, uh, yeah, tons of people are in it. I used to talk like that when I got mad. Mm. Like anytime I got into a fight, you know that scene where uh, he throws the beer at Greg and mm -hmm. he's like, he's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always dissing me, dog? Like shit like that. I used to talk like that in high school when I got mad. If I got into a fight with somebody, I'd be like, all right, dog, all right. All right, you want to go outside? You know, shit like that. Yeah, and you would talk like, I'm sick of you always knowing what's best for me, dog. I'm a grown man. Like shit like that. I'm a grown man, dude. I'm sick of you always thinking you know what's best for me, dog. And then, like, it simmers down. You're like, hey, do you want to go get some food or something? Yeah, I go. Ooh, should we check the menu at Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> yeah, let's go over there. It's yeah, probably going to be a long wait if we don't leave now. <laughs> you, would, um, you talked like how every now white comedian talks on stage. Dude, it's brutal. It's getting pretty crazy. I, there is a comedian that I know mm -hmm. who I will not name. Okay. Yeah, we don't do that here. I'm, I'm a very classy guy. And we're guy. both sober, so we're not shit talking. I'm not shit talking. I don't name. I did a, I did a radio show recently and I and the guy was like we don't say full names here because you get sued and I was like oh <laughs> and I was oh. like I've been saying full names on my podcast yeah. like it's like it's a part of it <laughs> yeah. I go come on over to say daddy to pod where we say yeah. full names full names of full people names. we fucked and what their pussies look like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so uh, uh but what was I just talking Amy about Amy Schumer shaved yeah <laughs> next and what does her pussy look like I, uh, she doesn't know I hey. don't know yeah yeah no one knows uh what the fuck was we, what were we just talking about before that? Say, um, Full names. Oh, 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 there's a comedian that I know who was, uh, he's an LA guy now. Yeah. He's got a pretty popular podcast mm -hmm. with another fucking wigger. So I guess you call it. So we know who you're talking it. about, but keep going. And uh, <laughs> I know I want to give enough clues. Okay, yeah. Who do keep, you think? I don't know <laughs> I don't know what you said, but that's fucking hilarious. No, I don't know, because there's no ease or whatever you say. You went, mommy, mommy. What is <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, uh, I'm, and he was a New York guy, and we knew each yes. other in New York, and I was, uh, he was in town doing spots, and we, I saw him at the New York Comedy Club, and we're in the green room, and we're just talking, and his whole presence online is like, motherfucker, yeah. what? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Doggy, yeah. you just said that you fucked her last night? Honestly? And now she knocked up? <laughs> uh, exactly, and honestly, I think uh, like a minstrel blackface is less offensive than what this yeah, guy agreed, does. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Especially, Especially because... Because I... Go ahead. Because we're talking in the green room, and he's like, how, how are you, man? Off stage, How's it she's going? like, I haven't seen you in forever. I haven't seen you in forever. Mm -hmm. How's life? Talking like this. Yeah. And then they go, five minutes. Yeah. And, and he goes, oh, I gotta go. Yeah. And then he's like... She be tripping. <laughs> I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. He's got a rag. He's yeah, like, he's going, well, shit. He's, he's got, shit. He's, 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 he goes, a lot of fine ladies here tonight. A lot of fine ladies. Now clap it up, clap it up, clap it up if you ever cheated and then had sex with her that same night. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're in the pussy and you like, kapow, a kapow. Oh, you know when that pussy's so good, you wouldn't want a nut right away, but you got to. So you do something Man, crazy. I dated a girl who had an owl so fucked up, it didn't say who, it said what. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? He gets off stage. They're a good crowd. <laughs> yeah, he goes, I think that, did I do well? I don't know. I feel He's weird. insecure about I it. I feel like one of my tags like didn't do it like what I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> it's so offensive. It's yeah. the worst thing I I I really uh I really don't like it. And also like, so I got I have that little New York in me, right? Yeah. And if I catch myself yeah. saying something like like raw or whatever, yeah. like yesterday. I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. I do, I, like, I I do have a little to, bit of that too. Yesterday. Yeah, I do I a little bit of that too. I have to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, but we Buffalo, what, I mean, what accent is the... Well, sometimes, you know, because Wild and Out, sometimes like... Right, you have I'll, to code I'll, switch. I'll, I'll act, or if you're around all the people and you're like, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, hey, of course. Yo, Brendan be my boy, dude. And you're like, <laughs> you know totally, I mean? dog. What's up, man? Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, totally get that. I hit the whoa. Yeah, you go, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so... Or, or if I'm like, <laughs> it like, yeah. So I have to be not careful, but it's also fun to kind of like go that into scene that. In Departed, well, when he's like, "I bet you had two accents, didn't you? You <laughs> did, didn't you? you, did, you, you little scumbag." I'm like, "Nah, that's not true." <laughs> but how do you? You're okay, not a fucking cop. So you were, you rap, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm, tell us about that. It's fun. You are. I like doing it. I wanted to be a rapper. I didn't want to be a comedian for the longest time. I wanted to be a rapper. In like high school? Middle school, high school. Middle I would school, go high by school, you were into both rap and, and a like punk Green band. Day, right? Yeah, I was in a three-piece punk band, and we were god-awful. You know, we were just terrible. We do, like, covers of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, my the drummer, he had maybe the worst drum set that ever sounded. It was like a rock I mean, band drum yeah, set? Yeah, it was, it was, <laughs> click, 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 that plastic. It sounds like the same. He's like, all right, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and he would um he just like his his drums stayed in their garage, which is fine, mm -hmm. but you gotta tune them up, you know what yeah. I mean? Like the cold and the different yeah. weather, it yeah. fucks up the drums. The timber. So it sounded horrible. And I didn't I was the lead singer. Do not know how to say. I mean, I'm pretty I'm I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I'm okay. A, I'm an okay singer. Can you, you give know? us a couple yeah. couple bars here? Um of like a I walk a lonely road. Uh yeah, of course I could do that. I was I was also thinking a little oh, bit more ahead. classical like Okay. Uh, there were nights when the wind was so cold. <laughs> That my body frozen bed if I just listen to it right outside the window. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's good. My <laughs> baby's yeah. crying in the instant that she left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever. And um, Okay, so you can carry I, you can carry a tune. I guess. Some so. people go to sing and it's like, whoa, you really yeah. like don't know how to sing at all. Yeah, they're like, yeah, it's awful. But that, yeah, I just wanted to be in music. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought being like in a band or something was like I mean if you talk Talk to me when I was 17. I was 100% sure I would be in an arena rock band. <laughs> okay. I'd be, I'd be yeah. playing arenas until the day like I died. Like American Rejects. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Or Green Day or something right. like that. Right. And uh, not even... Did you play any instruments or just sing? Yeah, I play guitar. You play guitar, okay. Yeah, and I played it all the way down, like, <laughs> like da -da -da -da, you know, with yeah. like, not only like that, but like, if I wasn't wearing a button up with a red tie and guy liner on, <laughs> I was wearing... I was wearing like, like, uh, um, like high socks yes. with like dickies on okay, and yeah. like a sideways hat yep. and being like, where are you? Right. You and, know, like, and being like, my dad. Do you bleach, your hair? Do you yeah, bleach like, your hair? Of course. I bleach my hair now. That's why I'm right. fucking going bald. Right. Because I. Cause right. I, well, it looks natural right now. Well, it, this is natural. That's your natural color. I'm done bleaching. Yeah. I can't do it. But I right. also would bleach because I was a, such a huge Eminem fan. Yes. So I'd be like. You know, staring at myself in the mirror, like <clears throat> bleaching my hair. Mom, and, shut up! You're yeah, a whore. it is funny to go to a salon to be like, "Can you make my hair look like Eminem?" <laughs> yeah, and they're super cuts. Yeah, well, no. sure, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, they're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, it'll be twenty dollars. He's got the kids right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks really good. Thanks. And I'd also like an apple juice, please. <laughs> Thanks. The other lady yeah. comes over that while I'm writing good. raps about how yeah awful my parents were and how I want to kill my girlfriend who I never had. Right. And I'm then literally he, like, I, like I would write raps in mm -hmm. middle school, like. Like, slit my girlfriend's throat with a, with a knife. Yeah. Fuck and then, you, Kim! <laughs> exactly, and yeah. I didn't have a girl. I've never even <laughs> yeah. kissed a girl. I've never even talked to and them. I'm like, I'm like they yeah, never I don't, to you. I'm like, my mom! Yeah, mom! <laughs> mom! It's so hard. So you're from Long Island. You better believe it. Mm, two parents, divorced. Yeah. And you got into rap and pop punk at the same time. Not yeah. pop punk, So, like, punk. one month I'd be... 
wearing all that other stuff right. and being like, you know, like listening to No Effects and being like, in my yard <laughs> right. and All American Rejects and yeah. all that shit. And then the next week I'd be like sagging my parents <laughs> wearing a do-rag <laughs> with like with like a hat on, you know, like a white do-rag yeah. with a black hat. Back and forth. Big. Like the way I, I dress now besides the do-rag. Like, right. I, I, you know what? I wore a do-rag to the cellar once and it was the Hilarious. biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Really? Everybody's like, are you wearing a do-rag right now? Like, and I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoops, no. It was genuine? Genuine. Brendan. I know. You gotta well, be careful. Cellar is like Black Comedian Central. They like me. I know, but you know. I, I, I had a- You got a do-rag on? <laughs> I had a white towel on, uh, a white towel with me yeah. and they're like, that's how you know Zaglo likes rap. He likes rap. <laughs> he be cooking. Yeah. Ladies, <laughs> yeah. shit, ladies, you know, you know, there's a lot. You better treat your woman right, fellas. You got to treat your woman right so she don't know that you cheating. Hey. <laughs> 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 like, oh, shit. Yeah, anyway, yes. But so I would, I, that's how I dressed and, and I yes. like that stuff. And I like that now. It's like more comfortable. I like, yeah. I like to be comfortable, like big oversized sweatshirts like I'm Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah, with my, with my little, all you see is my little fingers out of my sleeves. Cold. <laughs> when did you start rapping? In high school? Like g genuinely now? Or like, well, mm -hmm. in high school I would rap. Like me and my friends would get together and we would just rap. And then I started comedy. Like freestyles? Yeah, freestyles. We'd, ra we'd write songs yeah. and stuff and all that shit. And it never went anywhere, obviously. Yeah. Um, and then... And then I gave that up off because I was like, of course, right. like, I'm not going to do this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and which sucks because when I went to Nassau Community College, mm -hmm. they had like ciphers going on all the time. Oh. Yeah. Like these like guys would just stand in circles and yeah. like and like be really good. And I would just walk by with my little backpack <laughs> like, and I'm like, one day, <laughs> one day I'm going to get in there and I'm going to impress everybody. Hey, guys. They're like, yeah. Don't and I go, someone pass me the mic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me try. <laughs> I take the backpack off, sweat. <laughs> sweat stains. Pass me the mic, and I'll show you. NASA <laughs> community, what you gonna do? Do, hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> hey, I got my backpack on, and I'm walking down the street. Hey, suck my teeth. So, hey. we having fun here at community college. Uh. It's fall. Look at the Couldn't foliage. Couldn't find a rhyme for college. <laughs> college, huh? nope. Could not. College, small ledge. You could do wild and out. I don't want to do that you show. You could do wild and out. We do the pick up and kill it game. No offense, but that show sucks. No, none taken. <laughs> <laughs> you think I watch it? <laughs> you think I watch it? Um, I just don't think I'd fit well on that show either. You know, what I, I think mean? you would. I think they have a hard time with white guys because the white guys come on and immediately change everything about themselves. Right, They'll right, They'll come right. on and be like, I'm the nerdy guy. They go into wardrobe, come out, change. Jacob fucking, Williams is like, yeah. what's up, dogs? <laughs> yeah. He like he doesn't Sneakers. change his own, his, yeah. own, his personality, but, but he changes wardrobe his- Wardrobe change, <laughs> huge change. He's like, what's up, homies? I think you would be like, no, I know what's up. Yeah, yeah, they like they like white people come who just like, like stay themselves. I I would like to get big enough where they'd ask me to come on and do like an episode. Yeah, as a guest. Yeah, as a that's guest. ideal. Yeah, Have Sag Daddy on. Yeah, Sag. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. And then yeah, exactly. And I can ignore Joey Dardano. <laughs> Um, Shade on the celebrity guest. Oh, oh sorry. Nick, Nick just called I'm me into the... his trailer. <laughs> sorry, gotta go. Sorry. I come out, I suck this dick. <laughs> um, and then mm. during the pandemic, right. I started doing it again. You picked it back up. And now it's just fun. It to me yeah. it feels like it feels like, you know, and everybody's making the mistake of telling me I'm good at it. <laughs> For so I'm like, more okay. yes men. Brendan wants I, cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gmail. <laughs> Um, the mail is spelled M-A-L-E. Oh, <laughs> Gmail. And then now it just feels like I'm a serial killer. Cause I'll be mm -hmm. like, cause I'm like, I don't want to do it. And I don't, mm -hmm. it's like, I'm a hobbyist mm -hmm. with it. And then, but every once in a while I'm like, oh, I kind of want to write a song. Right. You know? And I'm like, I gotta, I, and that's how I do it. I do it exactly like a serial killer. I get it done mm -hmm. and nobody know. nobody sees it. Yes. Nobody knows. And I just, I just. Do I, you want to spit some bars from one of your songs to us? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> Got no, it. No, Super I don't. secretive. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. Where I'm like, you know, the the must see husky whose nuts reek. 
<laughs> thrusting. <laughs> must see husky. The must see husky whose nuts reek. So that's kind of Eminem vibes. I guess so. Like quick, like yeah, rhymes like within the, the bars. Right. That awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> Studio, my mojo, go flow, don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't know to go to. Bo, bo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's just me and my spunk making me so me and this guy thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great stuff. Yes. That Eminem. Yeah, I'm more like when I rap. On Wild and Out, it's like last word only. Yeah, you're doing like it's like, like daycare within, kind of yeah. like nursery rhyme. Nursery kind of rhyme. Like, yeah. Like here we are sitting in the classroom. Everyone's gay, and I've got a broom. Hey. hey. Yeah. Last two. Only listen to the last two. It's like A B A B A B A B A B. Or it's like A B C B is the rhyme scheme. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Because it's li- yeah. Yeah. I was just you impressed with that. Two bars. I really am oh. like Shakespeare over here. <laughs> so you put out a new special. Everyone's gonna check it out. Yes. Called every- Thin Lips. Thin Lips, which is why I'm Funny, sitting on the lips. You're sitting on the most juicy lips in the world. I've had, and the comments are really good, but, but some of them are very funny because they'll be like, "His lips aren't that thin." They are thin, though. They're very thin. Yeah. I had a guy once say to me, "I was doing a show." And remember the standing room? It yes. Was, it was this in room Island in Long City. Island City. Thinnest room in the world. Thinnest room in the world. It was like a railroad room where uh, where the, if you looked forward, the audience was four people. Mm-hmm. But if like, but on the side, it was 12. And on the other side, it was 12. So you had to be like. So you had to be like, right, guys? Right, guys? You And then these two didn't matter. Whereas they at normal at comedy <laughs> clubs. <laughs> uh, uh. Normal comedy clubs, a lot of people are in the middle. Yeah. And you, you know, I don't know if. You do this, but I'm very conscious of it. Where it's like punchline, punchline. I do that too. Punchline. Yeah, I'm like like, eh, like set up, eh, set up, eh, punchline. Eh, yeah, like yeah. if I'm I'm never gonna do the punchline here or there. I always do it right there right. in the fucking middle. Like very interesting. Well, I watched this YouTube once when I, you know, when your brain, it's so funny when you start in comedy, our brains are like little baby brains. They're little like, they're little like, they're so they're like sponges. Yeah. So that if you hear somebody say something Mm -hmm. like, never have a beard. (laughs) <laughs> right. Never wear a hat. No shorts. No shorts. And always do the punchline to the center of the room. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, that really fucked me for like eight years. <laughs> right. That, yeah. that advice. The punchline's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, so like I'll, so the standing room, I was there once and I was trying to do this bit and this isn't where I got the thin lips thing. That was another story, but some guy fucking, I'm trying to do this joke about how there's gotta be, this is years ago, all right? I'm trying to do, I was trying to do this joke how there's gotta be gay people who hear gay voice and they they like roll their eyes. And mm-hmm. they're like, there's gotta be people who aren't as gay as that, <laughs> right. but are gay and are like, oh my God, Gosh, you know, do you have to be a fucking stereotype? Off, right. right, yeah. So That's I like was, me when I hear white girls like exactly Stop. exactly and it's just like <laughs> yeah like and I'm like actually and you walk by someone in the village you know she went yeah and then that's what I think and he was like Mm-mm. and then and then someone was at my roommate's place and then he said actually and I think it's so cute that for the woman and I actually think it's funny that, I just think it's funny I just think it's funny no it's so funny <laughs> <laughs> and um so anyway whatever so I was trying to do something like that and then this guy walked this is like and I was drinking at the time so it was awful but this. Guy walks by me and he goes, "Fuck you, you thin-lipped fat guy," <laughs> which is the first time I ever knew my, my on lips stage? were thin. No, no, no. We were standing outside of the. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And yeah, if it okay. was on stage, I'd be like, you know, whatever, talk to him. But right. I got so mad. Yeah. Thin-lipped at the fat, fat guy. Not even thin-lipped fat guy. Right. I don't really care about that. But in my head, mm-hmm. I'm like. How dare you not expect me to beat the shit out of you? Right. How dare you? <laughs> you fu- you you're in New York City. You're talking to someone who is a stranger. Yeah. You're insulting a stranger to right. his face. I I feel like you do need a reality check a little yeah. bit now. So you killed him. So I fucked him. I fucking killed him. <laughs> well, I was young right. and I was stupid and I was drunk and I was angry. Whereas now, like even I did, I got in his face and yeah. I was like, "Fuck you! You don't just talk to somebody like mm-hmm. that. You don't just walk by someone and insult them like that. You got a problem with mm-hmm. me? Blah 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 blah." And he's like, "Yeah." yeah. And I literally is like, "If you say if one more word comes out of your mouth." <laughs> I'm going to hit you. And you're going to have thin lips. And I <laughs> and I went, I said that to him. I went, if one more thing comes out of your mouth, yeah. I'm going to hit you. Yeah. And he was like, and you could see how fucking scared he was. And I was like, one more thing. I was like, I'm ready. He's like, I'm ready. And then he walked away. And uh, another comic, Peter Wong, was yep. there. And he is from like off the boat Chinatown. Literal Chinatown. He's literally like, he like grew up on a door floating in the... In the <laughs> 
<laughs> in the water. <laughs> like his whole family lives in Flushing in like a boarding house. <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. Like he's made of bats that yeah. like, you know, like his whole family's made of the bat that started yeah, the Yeah, his Wu- middle name Wu- is Wuhan. Wuhan, yeah. yeah he's Peter Wuhan Wong. <laughs> <laughs> he saw it and he was like so scared. Oh, of course. He was like, like when you see that side of a person, mm-hmm. there kind of isn't any going back. Like you're right. like, oh shit, like Brendan's kind of violent. Yeah. Like that's not cool. Mm-hmm. So, you know, whereas yesterday I'm coming back from the beach and a bunch of teenagers are walking by me on the Long Island Railroad and one of them goes, <laughs> and I just went like, and I just had to take it. Yeah. Whereas like a younger me would have been like, hey, fuck you. Really? And then would have gotten my ass you kicked. You think you can moan in my face? Yeah. Yeah. Would have gotten my ass kicked by right. four guys. But it was literally like someone like, eh. <laughs> I just walked by and I went, <laughs> just go yeah. right back on you my phone. You have to, yeah. Which I think is the alpha move. I think that's the alpha move. Let it float over you. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas a couple years ago. So that's it. where you got thin lips from. Yeah. I mean, the story that I say the joke in in my special like I close with this eight minute closer about how I performed at Rikers Mm, oh yeah and in it I say that they called me thin lips Mm -hmm. yeah that didn't happen but Mm -hmm. um but it is it did come from a thing of Mm -hmm. somebody calling me thin lips right 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 so uh I was like I'm just gonna like throw that in Mm -hmm. there you know but that story is mostly true that's crazy yeah 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 yeah. wow I had um so when I was in Houston one time opening for Theo Vaughn, and the very same. Hey, Maddie. It was a. Um, hey. Uh, do you think we, people are liking this show? Or? Right, right. He calls you. Do people like me? One time Theo called and was like, "Um, uh, we're doing some Canadian shows. I wanted to see what you thought of a couple of the venues you did with Bert." I was like, he already had them on the calendar. You mean giant arenas? Giant arenas. <laughs> and they were already on his calendar. And I was like, this, they were both Yo, good. He was like, okay, I was just wondering. Right. Up. <laughs> what a nut. Weird. What a nut. Well, you were there when we both, we were both Yeah, yeah, there. that was fun, yeah. though. Yeah. And and Theo is cool. Like, he's yeah. a cool dude. Yeah. But also, there are these guys that, you know, for a long time, I was like, you know, maybe I'll never be as big as some of these guys because... I'm crazy, but I'm not like yeah crazy. I'm not like crazy. I'm not like a nut. I'm and not a nut. I, I so I, many I have of these relationships guys. in my life that are stable to indicate exactly that I'm not a nut. And Theo's not a nut. He's just like he's just like he's a guy that you're like that people go. Well, we don't know what Theo we're gonna get today. Yeah, totally. And that's yeah. even a kind of a little crazy thing. But that's he was crazy. he was awesome, dude. He was a cool. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. a cool guy. Different, different, different person every day, which I think yeah. is what it takes to get up there. And you go, I don't think look, I have I'm just takes. a normal guy who yeah. wants to have a family one day <laughs> yeah. and like yeah. wants to like make a living telling my jokes yeah. and and just you know. And I'm not a nut, so I'm like. Am I never going to be this big guy that's like, because you hear like, oh I my God, these huge and guys. And you meet those guys here. and you're like, oh, you're a nut. They're yeah. all nuts. And they're like, they're like, mm, huh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're, need to yeah, do more. Need yeah. to do more. Need to take a private jet here, 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 here. Should we cancel the arena tour? You're right. You're like, <laughs> yeah. it's tonight. It's, yeah. And you go, oh, I think we're going to cancel. And then they cancel and you're, you're like, nut. and it didn't affect them at all. At all. Yeah. And then you, you meet people who are comics now that you're like, Oh wow! If you just get really good at joke writing, because you're fucking nuts yes. and you're crazy, and yeah. if you just get good at comedy, yeah. you're gonna be huge, huge, huge. I don't think I have that gene in me. No, you're a little too. nutty. I'm nutty, but I'm not like. Um, I feel like I'm not as ambitious as I used to be. Why? I feel like when I started comedy, I was like, I'm the next blah blah blah. Oh yeah, well blah, you blah, have blah. to. When you Delusional, start comedy, you're like, of. it's the same thing as seventeen year old Brendan with guy liner on going. Right. Going, I will be well, I wonder what arenas I'll have to yes. play. It's, right. When you start in comedy. Well, it's a toss-up between TD Garden and MSG. <laughs> yeah. And when you start in comedy, especially if you start young, because yeah. I started when I was 19. Yeah, I was People 24. are like, you're going to be big. Uh, yeah, when you start You're kind of funny now. Yeah. And you're young. Yes. So if you keep getting on this trajectory, yes. you're going to be huge. They say and that then, too. Yeah. And it, it fucking ruins your, uh, my motivation. It ruined my motivation because I was like, Oh, I'm just gonna like do my time, right. keep working on my stupid jokes, right. barely write. Right. And then uh I guess I'll just be like friends with Pete Davidson in like a year, a I years guess. Or something, you and then know, he'll yeah. probably put me on SNL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, that's what you think. You're like, that's I'm gonna get SNL, I'm gonna get all this stuff. And pre social media, it used to be more like right. you keep getting up and it keeps um Right, like my first rolling. comedy page was on MySpace. 
Really? Yeah. Damn. Like, like even not the downfall of MySpace. Right, right. Like it was like, why even have a MySpace? Right, right. Or no, maybe it was Facebook. Yeah, it was actually Facebook. I lied. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Don't I worry about no, it. I, no. Don't worry about it. I, yeah, when I started, people were like, you you got something. Yeah, you got and something. You, and you're young, too. And then cut you're to 15 young, years too. later. Now people think I'm younger than I am, and I'll say stuff like, oh, I got to figure things out, and people will be like, well, no, I mean, you really are on a good path. How old are you? I'm like 32. They're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe figure yeah, some you stuff should, out. Yeah, you have less time. No, I, I don't think, what, what are you trying to figure out? Well, just like, I don't know, like how to kind of secure things in so I can have a family right. by age like 36. Right. Like start, it's getting to that point where it's like the window is closing, closing especially for women. Right. It, late 20s, I was like, that's so far away. Now when you get into your early 30s, it's like I either have to figure out if I'm going to have a family or if I'm going to have to be like, I you didn't want to have kids like, anyway. I think it's one of those things where you just have to jump into it because you'll never feel ready, especially with what we do. Yeah. Like you'll never feel like... Unless you get like a sitcom yeah. and they're paying you like yeah. seven million an I episode, I know, literally. And yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. I have generational wealth. <laughs> yeah, totally. Maybe start that generation. <laughs> <Yeah>. You know, <laughs> maybe let's start it. But I, yeah. I think as for people, well, like me, like I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. So it's like I gotta just either start it or not right. start it, right. and then be that guy with a family right. and, and and living like this and yeah. all that stuff. But I know. I ain't, I ain't gonna do that just it's, yet. Yeah, and I also feel like post COVID, it's like way different than it was. Yeah, I we, feel like there was opportunities out there that that aren't really there anymore. Yeah, who you is know? this person? It's uh, this old is the comedian. This is an old comedian <laughs> old documentary comedian talking about. Yeah, back in the uh, when I started, 2016. <laughs> you you would do the clubs. Yeah. You, you do, do the, the clubs. clubs. You get past the. Clubs. Every comedian <laughs> documentary has a scene. If they're talking about the past, where one of the guys is going, they're, they're, they're saying a, a person who's very famous, mm -hmm. who came in and wasn't famous at the time, yeah. and how well they did. Yeah. Every single documentary. When Robin a, came to the comedy store. We were at the comedy store. This is 1974. Young guy. He was young. Robin Williams came in, Four. and he blew the fucking house down. <laughs> Cut to another person. Cut to another person. The way he in, rocked it. Yeah. Robin killed... When... A young Richard Pryor came in. <laughs> he murdered. And Mitzi looked at me and said, he's the next generation. He's got it. He's got it. And she knew. And she knew. She Mitzi was, knew. You know, they call her a gatekeeper, but she's just a truth teller. These fucking, these Stockholm <laughs> Syndrome comics. I know, I know. What I the know. fuck? You're just, you're just, you're just kissing the ass of a booker? Why? Uh, literally. Uh, 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 if she was a homeless woman, you'd step right over her. Right over her. Fucking, fucking cunts. Fucking, and I look at it when we, we see it with like people who have got out of booking jobs and no one right. cares about them at all. Right. <laughs> yes. Dude, yes. There you are know? bookers that everyone's yeah. like, dude, remember, I don't know if you were there for this, but we, the, I think like, um, there was a booker at a club and the club threw a party for yeah. them. And uh, that this person just became the new booker. Right. And we were all in the place where they're throwing the party and they're making an announcement or something. And they're like, and our new booker, blah, blah, blah. And every comic was like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like big applause. Yes. And everyone's. <gasps> like, <laughs> I always love them. And everyone's like. You wouldn't have given a fuck At about all. them yesterday. At all. It's so crazy. <laughs> so fucking Once I started nuts. doing the road, I was like, damn, that, that right. these people don't matter as much. Every Yeah, exactly. Every I mean, they're, you know, they are what they are, but it's like people people are like, there are so many bookers that people kiss their ass. Yeah. Where the minute they lost their job, mm -hmm. I don't even think they'd start a GoFundMe for that person. Agreed. There's We know so they many people who used to be Instagram. bookers that are like, yeah. Living in trash cans now. <laughs> they're literally Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> yeah, they're literally like. Hey, I used to book on the yeah, night show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eating a eating a banana peel. Yeah, I'm judging an audition oh, showcase in I Atlantic used City. to book a uh, uh, catch a rising star. <laughs> yeah, catch. <laughs> anyway, you got any pennies? Hilarious! <laughs> it is so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, oh, is that on your little? This thing? is our little. We're gonna play a segment right. to break things up a little bit. Okay, hit um, me. So we're gonna play a game called Punk or Not. Is this like What's are you called? garbage for punk? Punk rock or not? Yeah, it's exactly our good. No, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna ask you. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna tell you a situation, and you're gonna say if they're if the person's being punk rock or not. All right. Okay. So last week, Trump said Kamala Harris is not black enough, <laughs> or he didn't even know she was black. Punk rock or not? 
That is punk rock. By the way, this is a very liberal podcast. It's oh, on God. the NPR network, so. I, it's, I think it AKA is punk Guess rock Digital. just because it's saying something fucking crazy. Yeah. Although, yeah, although most punk rock, I think, like, leans more liberal yeah. and stuff, and they're like, Nazi punks, fuck off! <laughs> Shit fuck like you. that. Yeah, it's like Jack Black's um, bandmate. Yeah, exactly, Kyle. Saying that, punk rock or not, Jack Black saying fuck you to his bandmate. Yeah, well, who knows what's really going on yeah, behind the I scenes Yeah, I feel like of that. they always were like over each other and then this maybe, was a last straw situation. Maybe, or maybe maybe the, uh, you know, the, the internet just took it to that place that now we all believe that yeah. they fought in each other yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And Jack Black's just trying to save his da-da-da. Like, right. we don't know. No one knows. We don't know shit. Who cares? Who cares? Um, I would say it is punk rock, though, because he is saying something insane into a microphone. Insane. And that's very punk rock to be like, to hold a microphone be like, Kamala Harris is in black. I want you to leave her. I didn't know she was black. I didn't, I didn't know, know she was black. black. That was like the Rose Roseanne Barr thing. I thought the bitch was white. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my, my, what did she say? My pronouns are kiss my uh, ass. And then she had that special on Fox, like cancel this or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I would love to have a nursing home for all the out of touch comedians. Oh, and yeah. just have them yeah. like a like a mental hospital yeah. walking around being like my pronouns are kiss my ass he walks by we still say fag yeah 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 nobody can say Joe Rogan's in a, in a uh, straight jacket being yeah. like no one allows you to say anything anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> meanwhile there's a Netflix special right Netflix right. special biggest podcast right. where he says whatever the Huge fuck he wants rich as fuck I'll, I'll, I'd go on me too <laughs> one million percent <laughs> uh, punk rock or not kill Tony um, just the whole show in general. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I think I my gut wants me to say no in a way because too kind of because they just you know if they're punk rock they're sellouts now because they just sold out Madison Literal Square Garden sellouts. twice. Literally selling out. So yeah, yeah, literally. So it's like I don't think I also don't think it's very punk rock to um. Oh, this is going to be so gay of me to say, but I don't think it's punk rock to have people come up on stage and ridicule them yeah. for just trying to live their dream. Yeah. I don't think that's very uh, cool. <laughs> but, but if they do well. But if they do well, they, right. you know, it's the opposite. I just, it's like, but also it's comedy, so it's different. Right. Like comedy, there, comedy is mean. You I'm know what I mean? I'm glad that so. we don't live in a city where that show was like something that, we would have to like go through like should I do it should I not do it right I'm, we I'm, I'm glad I'm I'm past that because I do yeah. know people that were like who do I do it I want to get on the bucket and blah 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 right. blah blah because like it's a it's it's made people and it's fun and whatever whatever and and I'm sure it's a good time when you're on there and I don't want to shit on it too much but I'm sure when you bomb it you're like why oh did my I, do I would do that yeah, yeah. And and just, I would definitely bomb. You know why? Because um, March Madness, when we had to do the 60 person right. competition at Caroline's, that. one minute. One minute? Yeah, bombed. Yeah, you bombed. And Didn't they, you bomb and cry? Oh, yeah, of course I cried. I cried <laughs> every time. Every competition is so triggering to me. <laughs> you like, cried every I time. I could still, every time. I know. You'd, every be, time. you'd be on stage yeah. and they'd be like, wow. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, time is up. And they'd be like, Maddie, what is wrong with you? Yeah. And then you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, don't cry. Uh, hey. <laughs> what sound effect do they have for the comedian crying on stage? It would, um, at March Madness, you get a minute, and, and when you go over it, they would go, and you'd yes. bomb. You'd, you'd bomb for over a minute, and then you go, fuck, and they cut you off. And they'd be like, oh, okay, the other crying. person was better in front yeah, of everybody. Because you just fucking bombed yeah. and went through the music. Oh, my yeah, God, so yeah. humiliating. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say. But who knows? Again, comedy is mean. But I just can't picture uh, punk rock people being like, but actually everybody's fickle and talking shit. And I know. everybody thinks yeah. everybody's better. And yeah. that person's a poser. Yeah. And that's, so it might be actually close to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, punk rock or not, JoJo Siwa being like, um, I'm a, I'm a fucking no. badass nun. Okay. No, no, she's she's not. No, over her. Yeah, just because she's a she's got poser energy. Yes, she's like it's so crazy what I did today. And she's wearing yeah, yeah, sneakers yeah. Sneakers with rhinestones on them. <laughs> exactly. Where she's like, I said, guess what, you guys? I said shit today. I said sh when I went up there and started cursing. Yeah. And had like the handle of fireball in my hand. I was like, <laughs> I'm an adult now. 
<laughs> and it feels different than when Miley Cyrus was like, yeah, I'm sexy, skinny. Miley Cyrus felt very punk rock right. because she was like, I'm getting out of this. Yeah. And I'm going to do the worst shit. Right. And I'm just going to be me. I'm gonna it felt like yeah. she, she was like, yeah, it's like, it doesn't feel like, it felt like she was having a breakdown, mm -hmm. like a mental breakdown, which is totally punk rock. Right. Mental whereas, breakdowns are punk rock. Whereas JoJo is like, is like, you guys ever see black nail polish before? <laughs> And you're like, all right, Jojo. It's like when you start shopping in the kids section and you move up to juniors. Yes. It's like, it's like, this is what exactly what it's like. It's like when I was in uh, middle school and I saw the movie SLC Punk, mm -hmm. and uh, which is a Matthew Lillard vehicle where he's talking about being a punk rocker yeah. and anarchy is the key and blah, blah, blah. And me being in seventh grade going, anarchy is the key to life. <laughs> and going to school and, then, and saying that to your teachers. Yes. Yeah. And then my dad and every adult in my life going what do you mean and me going oh, I don't just don't yeah, stop, stop asking stop putting on stop. headphones don't wanna be an American <laughs> idiot guitar. guitar at the floor yeah <laughs> guitar at my ankles <laughs> one nation to come by the media did you guys play live the shows? information <laughs> what did you say in, in uh, holidays like the representative for California has, has the floor oh yeah has the floor <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys play live shows? Yeah, we did a couple of live shows nice. and they were fucking awesome. In your hometown? Yeah. Yeah. Did we never went outside of the hometown, but we had so Syosset. 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 Yeah. If you're ever on the train, this is the train to Ron Kongama. Yeah. Maybe it stops at. I also. I also. But yeah, we played like we played a couple of VFWs, and we played oh. like yeah, we played like a couple of uh, you know, we were always like the first band or the second band, you know, mm -hmm. where nobody likes yeah. us. And I had a friend who uh, who I grew up with who was like. I, he was talking shit about our band because he was running shows like mm -hmm. he was the real deal like he was he was running shows and he knew all these awesome punk mm -hmm. uh, uh, bands and stuff and I would come by and kind of like poser with him yeah. and be like wearing like a big <laughs> leather jacket with like studs and everyone's like looking at me wearing like regular Levi can, jackets yeah, and stuff you're squeaking in yeah yeah I was like, excuse me <laughs> yeah I got, I'm sitting down cling I have all these belts and stuff and everyone's like Hey man, are you hot? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then uh, like a yeah, I would go to like a bomb the music industry, like mm -hmm. which was a band, and uh, just be the I'd smell like Kahlua because I like spilled my <laughs> liqueur on me, and um, and uh, he was a real deal. But he also I, when we were in high school, he talked shit about my band, and I it got back to me where he's <gasps> like, he goes, uh, and I didn't say anything to him, but he was like, uh, somebody asked him if we were good, and he went, Blink One Eighty Two already did it. Oh my god. Which is kind god. of a mature thing to for a 10th grader to say. Right. Like Blink-182 already did it. He already knew. Like I right. I you know, he 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 was basically saying we have to come original. Wow. Yeah. Like when someone says like you sound like a different comedian. Like you're right. doing not you but like oh, oh you're doing yeah, Shane. I'm, like you're doing yes, Shane. Yes, everybody's like, doing Shane. Shane you're, oh. Well, that's one of the, that's also like the process of becoming a comedian where right. it's like when you start, you're actually closer to your voice. Agreed. Than when you're when you keep doing it because yeah. when you start you're like I'm just going to talk like me but mm -hmm. I but I'm also going to talk about talk like how I think a stand up talks right. so you're being like you know, I was at the mall the other day, and uh, you wouldn't believe what I saw. <laughs> Funny thing is, very smug, yeah. very attitude, so it's, it's hand yeah. in pocket. Yeah, you go, uh, so you go. Uh, so you guys, yeah. Anyway, um, so my girlfriend sucks. Yeah, <laughs> You're just shitting whore. on the people in your love, your yeah, life. Yeah, of course. Yeah, my mom's a whore. Blah, and blah, blah. then you become the comedians that you admire, mm -hmm. and if you can get out of that, mm -hmm. then you've. You know, I think you're a little bit better. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. We all sort of like become our own little personalities. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chewing Just ice. Chewing in the ice. Oh my god! Wait, I was gonna ask you if you wanna. Can you tell the story of getting a nickname and call it in high school? We, um, I have so many. Oh right. I well yes. When I was so when I was in. You know, when you told me this story for the first time, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say I'll try to tell it again. There's a lot of pressure, but okay. uh, when I was in summer camp. Yes. Not even in high school. When I went to summer camp, Camp, Ti camp Tioga. Um, Did you go every summer? I went for three summers in a row. Okay. Three or four summers in a row. Sleep away? Sleep away, nice. yeah. Nice. For like seven weeks. What? Really? Or two months. Yeah, it was something like that. Wow. So That's so cool. Uh, everybody had a nick Like, not everybody had a nickname, but kids had nicknames. And when you had a nickname at camp, 
Yeah. That was so cool. That's cool. Even That's when you're younger, so cool. you're like, fuck, I want to game. Yeah. There was a kid that uh, he had a, just they bleached the top of his head mm-hmm. and everybody called him light bulb. <laughs> and it was like, it was really cool. Yeah. Actually, me, and, so me cool. and light bulb got into a fight one time. What? Because he had this big. You stole his st- idea. <laughs> well, he had this big stuffed. Uh, there it is. Camp Tioga. That looks this, fun as fuck. Yeah, Only guys fun. are co-ed. Uh, it was co-ed. It was co-ed. Oh. And uh, I never kissed a girl there. Right, which, of course not. Which was an annoying. But you were writing lyrics well, about one time, fucking killing one time, your girlfriend. Yes, yeah, exactly. I was writing a lot of lyrics and listening to <laughs> Linkin Park and stuff. Right. And one time I overheard the girls' bunk talking and they were playing a game called Who Would They Kiss Over Another oh, Person yeah, yeah, yeah. They this Would or Kiss? This, person or this, this person. or this person. Yeah. And they went, they went, uh, they go, blah, 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 or blah, or Geo or Jacob. And everyone's like, Jacob, Geo. Like yeah. everything was Hilarious. like, a uh, like Congress esque. Yes. No one could get anything done yeah. because no one could agree. No, you would never kiss Jacob because <laughs> right, he had those right. weird things on his lips. Right, it's either Jacob yeah. or Geo, blah blah blah. And then and that happened with every single uh, uh, conversation. And then they got to me and they were like Brendan or Luke, and everyone's like Luke. Coo. Like they all they all agreed. They all agreed. It was the first time they were yeah, like hilarious. they came at, they came together. Next agenda item. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then so and me and light bulb got into a fight okay. and uh i almost fucking kicked the shit out of him because he had a big uh, p- uh stuffed patrick from spongebob yes like something you'd win at like a state fair yes and the eyes were these plastic they were big okay, plastic yeah. eyes big patrick eyes and he hit me in the face with it and the plastic <laughs> eyes hit me and i like chased him and he's running away and he's laughing and i'm so angry right. and i did patch- that thing where you you trip them, you trip them yeah. from behind I and love they, doing that. they like when they're running like this you yeah. kick this leg and it goes yeah. cool and they he fell to the ground i got on top of him and i went like this oh my god and he was laughing the entire time oh my god i'm like i'm literally going like this and <laughs> yeah. he's like he's like <laughs> Right, like he cannot even fathom that my my marshmallow fist would hurt. <laughs> he was like, he's like ready for it to go squeaky. You know what I mean? So, so Just foam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> um. So okay, so I want a, ni- a nickname so, so bad. bad. I got light bulb. Who are the other? We got people? light it's bulb. Like, it's like the movie. We Holes. got snake. 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 Which was Jacob. Jake the snake. <laughs> Jake the snake. He went Jacob. Jake the snake. Snake. Okay. Yeah. Right. Light bulb. And then there was light bulb. There was snake. There was uh, Geo because his name was yeah. Giovanni or something. Right, like but that. Geo's Everybody still good. Geo, yeah. yeah. Anyway, there was a bunch of nicknames, and I wanted a nickname because when you get a Camp Tioga shirt, you put your nickname on the back, right. which and I did. Brandon and I would be, so I put the name Pyro mm-hmm. because I wanted to be the fire guy. Right. right? Mm-hmm. Every there's always a kid that's like. <laughs> I'm the fire guy. Yeah, I'm fire. I like fire. I'm obsessed like with fire. Like my friend's screen name in middle school was Pyromaniac. Yeah, my yeah. my screen name in high school was uh, Pyro Forty Four XO <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it was like XO Pyro Forty Four XO. Right, like capital lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, and then so I was Pyro for a good two days. Like it stuck. <laughs> it stuck. And this is such the story of my life. A new kid came in. He came late. He came he, like a week later. He came later. late, which is very cool. He he <laughs> was always he was wearing he was he was like a sportsy guy. Was at a wedding? Yeah, he was like yeah. Sorry guys, I was and he was an older kid, and everyone just started calling him Pyro, <laughs> and, and I was like, um, fellas, <laughs> we 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 cannot call uh, him Pyro because I am Pyro, Pyro. So um, maybe we could think of another name of yes, some sort. Yes, but anything. I am Pyro. I've I've written it on the back of all my shirts. It's on my shirt. It's on Everyone. the back of my shirt. Yes. Which is so much more pathetic when now it's not yes. my nickname anymore. Hilarious. Now I look like a fan of this kid. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and he just ever and everybody just started calling him Pyro, and I just went to fucking Brendan Saggy Balls or something <laughs> like, like which is such the fucking antithesis of my life. Yes. You know what I mean? Some new guy comes in, yes. and everybody likes him better than yes. me. <laughs> not the antithesis; it's the thesis. The thesis of yeah, my life. It is yeah. The, yeah. I guess. I don't know why that's the funniest story. I know. Not funny, but it's like. Oh, when I first And trying to come up with your own nickname when you're a kid. And I'm like Pyro. And you're trying to make. It's Pyro. Someone's like Brendan. Pyro. And then a new kid comes in. And he just casually was right. like, mm, call me Pyro. Right. Um, and everyone's like, Pyro's um, awesome. Hey, that's so sick. And everyone's going, Pyro, <laughs> Pyro. And I'm standing on the outside of the circle going like, I'm Pyro. Pyro, Pyro. Yeah, they go, they lo- I wear Pyro on the back of my shirt. And yeah. they're like, you love Pyro, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm like, you love no, him. I'm Pyro. I know, I'm Pyro. I was Pyro for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it sucked. I felt, and those two days were amazing. The best two days of your best life. Best two days of my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never feel that that cool again. Hilarious. Mm. Well, Brendan, what do you think of the Olympic break dancer? Do you Is that punk she's rock or punk not? Rock? Yeah. Um, yes, she's punk rock because she's doing what she, she's expressing herself to the fullest. Right. It's punk rock if she does that and then she doesn't give a fuck. And she's like, fuck all you guys. Who gives a I shit? I don't think she gives a fuck. Good. Yeah, no but they did say rock. break season's not going to be at the next one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel bad for people who are real break dancers that see that and they're like, yeah. oh, fuck. The little Japanese kids. Yeah, being yeah. like, you just, uh, you just put us... Put us back a, a they bunch. They should have like another games for like kind of artsy more stuff. Mm. Uh, like if you're gonna break no. it, no, okay. I don't think so. Let's let's not add more to the Olympics. But not not the they're Olympics. gonna have roast like battle at the Olympics. Hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> Chef Rod, <laughs> kill Tony, the and the it's it's but the Tony is spelled with four O's, and it's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he's Hilarious. going, he's going. You're from France. <laughs> Wee wee. At least you're not from gay New York. <laughs> right. Who thinks they're better than us. Oh, we're in Austin. Like, you know you know what I look about with the, uh, and this is no shade to anybody, the Austin comics or the fucking New York comics, but to to when some when when the Austin comics are shitting on New York, I think about the um that that Mad Men meme where they're yeah. like, I pity you, yes. and then New York comics are like, I don't even think about yeah, you. Yeah, when yeah the guy's like trying to say it to John Draper, he's yeah. like, I don't think about you at all. I don't think about you at <laughs> all. I love saying that. Yeah, like or like in my head when someone's like freaking out about me, I'm like, I'm not even thinking about you. Even yeah, though I am. even though I am, even though I am, I think about you all the time. All and, the time. and I brought this up. So. Yeah, yeah. So actually, I am. So, my, my yeah. I'm both thinking. characters in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Blake okay. Lively is in a new movie. It Deadpool. ends with us, not oh. Deadpool. But her husband's in that, right? Yeah, but she's also in that. Oh, okay. Her voice is in it. Speaking of voice acting, we can't talk about okay. it. <laughs> Blake Lively is in a new movie. It's called It Ends With Us. It's based on a movie by Colleen Hoover. Now, it's a movie that is about a woman getting out of a domestic violence relationship. Okay. And Blake Lively told people, wear your florals, because the movie's about a, fl a florist okay, named like Lily a little, Bloom. Like and a little... Blake Lively wrote, bring your friends to the theater and wear your florals. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They have a character named yes. Lily Bloom. It's basically like a Hallmark movie. And it's about a florist? Yes, who's in a relationship that's abusive. You might as well call says, her Plant I Rose. Know. <laughs> I know. Rose Plant. I know. Pot. Pot flower. Soil. Soil. <laughs> yeah. Mix soil. Fertilizer lady. Yeah. <laughs> Rose Mix soil. Yeah. Thorn. <laughs> Rose Thorn Mix soil. So she's selling, she's like kind of like doing press for it, yeah. but it's a movie with some dark right. tones, dark themes. Okay. She's right. saying, wear your florals. Popcorn. What food. kind of florals though? Like, like little flowers? Floral dress. Oh, like okay. Like a floral okay. dress. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of that? Playfully. Do I think it's punk or, or is it yeah. we're just on another punk rock or not? I don't really understand what we're talking about. But Blake Lively doing press for a movie about domestic violence in a playful way. Uh, I don't think that's punk rock at all. Oh, great. Nice. <laughs> I think that's I think that's tacky. Wouldn't it be tacky? I think tacky? it's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah. And her agents are probably losing their minds. <laughs> yeah. And being like, Oh God! What are we doing here? But uh, I don't think it's punk rock. I'm over Ryan Reynolds. Oh, are you? Yeah, I don't like him. You don't like him anymore. And well, I never liked him. Why? Because he's I so popular. I watched Van Wilder for the first time this week. Yeah. He stinks. He stinks, huh? Yeah. I haven't seen Van Wilder in a long time. I remember watching it in high school and being like, "This rules." Yeah. And I love this. I, that's how I used to think about old school. Rewatched it recently. Yeah. I was like, hmm. And then, and then I remembered that, and then I figured out that Van Wilder was about Bert, and it's yeah, yeah. like, that, which is like, you know when you watch a movie about a drug dealer, yes. and it's like Johnny Depp, and he looks so sexy and yeah. cool, and then at the end, they're like, based on this character, I, and he's like... They show the like, real oh, people, God. they're like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that movie, Zola, <laughs> like, oh my was that God. movie, the Zola, the movie about the two strippers, they're so hot in the movie. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 you go, you go, Van Wilder's about this guy, and it's, yeah. a, it's a whale carcass. <laughs> Made of, <laughs> made of fucking uh, chewed up Nutella. <laughs> chewed up Nutella. You're such a wordsmith. Thanks. So, Brandon, what are your goals for post oh. specials out? Specials out. 
What's next for you? Um, I say, what are your goals? You go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite um, the interviewer. Yeah. Uh, no, you're good. You're good. You're a good interviewer. Um, <laughs> One of my goals. I just want people to check out the special. Yeah. I want people to like it. I want people to share it. I well, I hope people like it. I don't need them to. Right. <laughs> no, I really do need that. You but need it. I need it. Check out the special. It's on my YouTube. And where'd you film it? New York Comedy Club. Yeah. And uh, I. But pay- you kind of changed the set a little bit, right? Yeah, I I bought a curtain and okay, stuff yeah. like that. I financed this whole thing, mm-hmm. produced it myself with with a couple other people that were helped me. You know, uh, but I bought the curtain. That's, <laughs> that's my version. It. I bought that. That's my version of producing. But yeah. actually, <laughs> the other guy that produced it uh, bought the curtain from me. So there, really? goes, there goes my role. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he took the curtain. Maybe I'll use it. Um, who was that? James Webb or um, Chicago? No, uh, uh, Nick Angelo helped oh, produce yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. It was directed and edited and colorized by Nicole Lyons. Yeah. And, uh, it's just, I'm so proud of it, and I think it's awesome. It should be. It's got a good, you know, people are very nice about it in the comments, yeah. so, you know, I'm I'm sure that won't last very long. It'll probably it It'll probably, you know, it's here now with, like, negative views, positive views, but I'm sure once it's, it'll be, Fuck you know. You. Yeah, people will be like, oh, fat. I feel like YouTube people are nicer versus, like, clips on Instagram and TikTok. I disagree. Oh. I think, I think YouTube is very mean, mm-hmm. but when you put... You know, a lot of work into something, and I and it is good. I think people recognize that, and yeah. they could be very loving. Agreed. You know? Yeah. But then I'll put a clip up on YouTube mm-hmm. in, on like shorts or oh, whatever, yeah, shorts and is... people are like, "This guy stinks, yeah. and I hate him, and I'm gonna kill yeah. myself because now I know he exists." Yeah, I've, a lot of people. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> From a tiny little clip. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna hit the road more now that you have a special out? Yeah, I'm ho- hopefully I'm I'm getting on the phone with my agents tomorrow, and we're gonna talk about touring and all that cool. stuff. So. Can you plug some dates now? Well, I'll be in Seattle in November. Um, this comes out in two days, by the way. Just check out the special. I don't care if you see me live. I'm, I'm I have no material right now. <laughs> okay. So, it's fun. The shows are still fun, but yeah. I'm like, is this funny? And Running then I'm, I'll say something that's a, a horrible thought I had, yeah. and uh, yeah, and then just lose the crowd immediately. But yeah, I have a couple <laughs> of dates on my website, brendansagalo.com. Uh, I'll be in Seattle at some point. Whatever, whatever. But whatever. check out check out the special. That's that's all I want. Check, Check out, out the special. special Thin Lips. It's on YouTube. Free watch. Pop the like. Pop a freaking that's comment. That's a good website I got that's there, nice right? Website. That's a nice website I got wow, there. Oh, that's way cooler than if mine. If you keep going down, I think you'll see the dates there, right? So, oh, Skankfest. Oh, I'll be at Skankfest Skank too. <laughs> you going every the whole weekend? Yeah. Hell yeah. Biatch. That's awesome. And um, then I'll be at the Capitol Hill Comedy Bar in Seattle on uh, November 1st and 2nd. Awesome. So if you're in Seattle. Come out on Seattle with the West Coast vibes and always MaddieSmithComedy.com before we get into our hotline. Oh, do you do like a hotline? Uh, is this it's still a part of the show or yes. do you do a paywall now? No paywall. Oh, all right. Let's do the hotline. Um, but MaddieSmithComedy.com, I'm coming to freaking Lexington, San Antonio, Appleton, Wisconsin, and Skankfest per usual. Going to coordinate a little Madhouse meetup. Just not sure what we're doing you yet. You should do a live Madhouse at Skankfest. I know. I wanted to do like a little like setup that kind of looked like this, my own little room. That would be so annoying. Really? Yeah. I thought it'd be so what are funny. You gonna, what are you, what I are, where funny. are you going to get the stuff? What are you going to bring the stuff to Vegas? How I was going to get, get a get plastic shit? version of this couch <laughs> and kind of fake it and have like Skankfest audience members come in and have, share like one story. That would be cool. I like think it's a little story. Uh, over. over uh, I know. Especially like a month ahead of time. Right. I was like, you're hey. not, not going to do that. Hey. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Before we wrap up today, we got, uh, I'll be at Stanford, a, a bunch of Connecticut dates coming up, pull through. Last time I did that room, it was one quarter full. So, <laughs> what, the New York Comedy Club one? In Stanford, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's just so huge and right next to the city. We have a hotline called okay. the Fucked Up People Anonymous, FUPA Hotline. Right. Where people call and confess to something. Now, did up you they start did. with Fupa and you were like, how do we make this work? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Why, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> did you do anything fucked up in the past couple weeks that you want to. Fucked wanna, up? Yeah. Like, that you're like, like to a horrible person or no, something? Like, or like, like to a person? Just anything. Like, oh, you know, like I. Okay, I live on the first floor right. of my apartment, of my building. And when the Uber driver, Uber Eats comes and they're like, legue, I. I 
Make sit them on my couch up. and say one B bitch. Yeah, and of I can hear them like <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah. the in the alcove. Oh, okay, like um, little shit like that. So after <laughs> I say on my couch and I'm like one B. So I went to uh, I saw speaking of Green Days and arenas. I saw Green Day at City Field last week. Nice. And uh, after I was so hungry from singing and dancing <laughs> that I um, I went to Wendy's and I got Ooh. I got a baconator meal with a large coke, oh my God. four chicken McNuggets, oh my and God. two Frosties. Oh my! Oh. And I'm walking with the Frosties <laughs> and I'm looking at them and in my head I'm going I'm walking with all the food that I yeah. just bought and I'm walking I'm going. I'm going to be full. Like, there's no reason for me to have two Frosties. I'm hungry now, but I know I'm going to be full. Right. And then there was a guy, there was a homeless guy on the bench, and he's going like, oh, <laughs> and I had the thought, I should give him a Frosty. Right. And I didn't. Oh. And I just kept walking, and I I ate it. You ate it. And I was full. I didn't finish it even. I, I don't eat all this. I went, ooh. And I, was, like, I was doing this for a different reason. I was like, yeah. ooh, so full. Oh, yeah, you guys were both like, mm. Yeah, yeah, and I, and so started. that's the most fucked up thing I've done Whatever, recently. it would have been so sugary, it would have, like, put him into a shock. <laughs> Maybe. You know? I remember when I was really young, I didn't understand homeless people. Okay. And I, I had this weird, <laughs> embarrassed anger for them, okay. in a way, where I was, like, I was angry that they were homeless, and I was angry at them and for them for mm -hmm. some reason. I was really young, mm -hmm. and I was, uh... I was walking around Washington, D.C. with my family, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm going to go for a little walk. I was young enough where they let me walk around, <laughs> and I saw a homeless guy, and he was just, like, f fucked up, and I was like, I had a bag of baked Lay's, and I gave him the baked Lay's. And he I, was like, but I, But I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I hate this kind. <laughs> I was so embarrassed by doing that. For, I felt weird about doing it, and I gave it to him really angrily. I was like, take this. <laughs> These are screwed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, yeah, for sure. I've definitely got that. I, I got that motherfucking, uh, uh, what, what's that line in Everneed Scrooge? Where he goes, um, he goes, well, if they'd rather, if they, well, if they'd rather die, then they better do it. They better do it. <laughs> it, it better deplete the surplus, the surplus population. population. Uh, deplete the surplus population. <laughs> yeah. I watched that. Like, I got that motherfucking, well, if they better do it. <laughs> they better do it. Well, if they'd rather die, then they better well, do it. You and they complete the surplus population. You can come in at eight tomorrow. <laughs> For sure, it's okay. Christmas. You can come in at eight. Fine, you can have the day off. This is our island in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Little rats. All right, so you fucked up. Uh, you didn't give a homeless person a frosty. I that is pretty fucked Christmas up. I love Christmas Carol. Me too, it's so Sorry, good. Sorry, you're just putting it's that. So it's so fucking such, good. It's my, it might be my it's favorite Christmas doo -doo 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 -doo. I never get tired you of it. You boy. Um, Go get the biggest goose. <laughs> and the little rabbit's like, oh. <laughs> and they're yes, like, you're yeah. really mean. He's like, no, go get the goose. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you know, the next day, he's like, no, that was he all. He just falls back that into it, all, and he's like, yeah. I'm a creature of habit. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Back to it's going to take more than just a night of ghosts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to uh, get rid of 90 years of yeah. pattern. They're back at work the next day. It's like yeah. when you're drunk with someone, the next day they're yeah, mean yeah, again. Yeah, and he, he like, comes in. He goes, hey, Scroogey, hey, how Scrooge! you doing? That he goes, party was crazy. Don't call me Scroogey. Scrooge. <laughs> Yesterday was a blip. Yeah. <laughs> yes, don't mistake my kindness for weakness. Oh, man, the Cornish hands you made were mutton and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to... Um, answer it? Yeah, answer. Does it play Pick over? As, does yeah. it play only through here? No, it'll, it'll play over. Oh. Say, thanks for calling the FUPA. How can we help you? This sucks. Oh, my God. Oh, Hello? my God. You dropped the phone. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Me, be right there. I got... Oh, oh this is nice. Go, operator! Operator. <laughs> Sell. Bye. Hello. Bye. Hello. Sell. Who is Hello? it? Oh, is anyone out there? <laughs> Bye. Hello. <laughs> Why, yes. This is he. <laughs> speaking. All right, you're calling the FUPA hotline. This is Brendan Sagalow speaking. Who How is it? Help? Is it Theo? It is Theo. Uh, what? Please don't talk while I'm on the phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't stand when someone talks when you're on the phone. Uh-huh. No, that's Maddie Smith. Yeah. Of course, me. What other Matt? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's awesome. Shut up, dude. Uh, but yeah, Matt. The other Matt is here. Smith. Smith. Yes. The woman. Oh, okay. Stop okay. talking while I'm on the phone. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Cancer. Oh. Is it bad? I oh. have it. I have cancer. Yeah, I'm looking right at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I never noticed that. What? That's crazy. Stop. Okay. Anyway, love you. My nose. Yeah. She thought it was her nose. She, oh. just, she just said, she just said my nose. 
She just said my nose. Stop, uh, seriously. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'll tell her. One second. Um, you're gay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> Hello? Fupa. Remember when your mom would be on the phone and she'd be like, Stop. Yeah, she'd go, Stop. 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 Get your shoes on. Get your shoes on. <laughs> uh huh. No way. She said that. <laughs> Fuck up. Her and. With the kids in the house, <laughs> yeah. With the kids with in the, the kids. car. Well, that's that's from that. Um, you know the guy who plays uh uh the wife in Bob's Burgers. Yes. He had a bunch of videos what before that where yeah. he played the the mom, and there was something that me and my friends would always say because he's doing like mom on the phone, mm. and one of the lines that she would go go <gasps> with the kids in the car. <laughs> <laughs> We'd always say that. Uh, anyway, so right. when does this start? Oh, it'll play once you once you get your act together. <laughs> What do I have to say? Well, stop doing bits and we'll play the voice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you this for is calling. a bit. <laughs> um, thank you for calling Fupa Hotline. Hi, this is David. Uh, I called earlier to tell you that my wife loved you. Um, I it's do supposed have to be anonymous, but thanks, David. Um, when I, how I ended up with my wife, I was friends with her baby daddy's cousin, and I ended up beating the shit out of him and the cousin dating his girlfriend. Oh my and God. And now we've been together for two years. So that's for, and now he's in fucking prison for, for fucking first degree sexual abuse. Oh, so win, win. Finally, people are going to jail for that. First well, we'd like some tickets now, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. I think you have the wrong number. Awkward. <laughs> yeah. You go, what am I supposed to say? Just say it's like, Okay, uh, wrong number. Wrong number. Yeah, yeah, don't call. <laughs> don't call back here. <laughs> okay, no. What are you supposed to do with that? Uh, we just talk about it, I suppose. Oh, okay, yeah. well, you know, good for him. He's, the guy seems like not a good guy. Yeah. So he beat up the cousin or the. I don't uh, like fucking knows. anybody who, I I knew. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want that. I mean, maybe right. I don't know. Um, it sounds like white trash shit. It's very that white trash. That sounds like white that's trash. Okay. That's okay. That happens. And I, mean, if you're gonna... I wonder why he beat him up. Maybe because he called him a thin lip fat guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, you know, you feel bad. I like that story because you do feel kind of bad for the guy. Mm -hmm. And then with the reveal that he's in jail for sexual assault, you're yeah. kind of like, oh, I guess he deserved it. And, yeah. every and everybody's happy now. Right. Um, but do you, I wonder if that guy thinks about this dude in jail pumping loads into his girlfriend. <laughs> I couldn't, I don't think, that's why I can't really have sex with anybody that, I don't like knowing who other people have had sex with. I'm not a big, uh, take something from I don't, someone else. I don't like that either. Um, I, I'm, I, I don't want that either. Yeah, never, like I had a friend who banged a guy, was banging a guy. Nice. And then another one of my friends banged the guy. Really? And Comics? We were, no. Oh. And we were like. Yeah, why'd it's weird. That? It's yeah. so weird. It's like a yeah. power play kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like, why'd you do that? Yeah, you go, <laughs> you know, there's plenty of other people yeah. in there. I like, I don't, I wouldn't want that drama in my life. Me neither. But you know, you know what they say, love, you know, isn't always on time. <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes you fall for somebody who has a, has a lifetime connection to a guy who's in jail right now. Right. Right. For sexual assault. Right. I just wouldn't want any of that. Love Trump's hate. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Like when that kid needs to get picked up right. on the weekends. <laughs> yeah. You're like, hey. Hey. How you doing? How is the, the, the clink? Yeah. I don't want any of that. You go, you go, tell me something. Yeah. Is that butt suck stuff? <laughs> <laughs> while, while you're waiting for the kid to get his shoes on? <laughs> yeah. Is that... Real? Come on. Oh, he goes, that eh, is, but I went in and I, I beat the shit out of some guy, so. Yeah. You always got to fight the, the, it'd be funny to go to jail and be like, I got to beat up the, the biggest guy here, and you yeah. pick the, the weakest guy by accident, <laughs> yeah. and everyone's like, oh, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's big, but he's not strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, you you think that guy's the biggest guy? Yeah, and then you go, some that guy's better, guy comes than, out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, Ooh. <laughs> Freddy's yeah. here. Oh, everybody, tuck in your shirts. The lights are flickering. Tuck in your chains. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the lights are flickering. It's a ghost. It's got like a bunch of ghosts. <laughs> yeah. the things around it. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, what's jail like? It's terrifying. Yeah, a lot of ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> oh, I didn't think. Oh, no, they're there. I didn't think ghosts. Yeah. They're there. Yeah. Wow, a haunted jail. <laughs> 
That's crazy. <laughs> um, I had a great time today. Oh, this is it? Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. I think we got to an Is that where we had an hour? I'm good with that. Yeah. A little more than an hour. An hour 20. All right, check out yeah. Thin Lips. Check out Thin Lips. Out now. We'll uh, link it in YouTube. the comments. Link in the comments. And oh, we can also add a little card at the end of our YouTube video. Great. To have a go there. Great. Uh, Brendan Sagal, everybody. Peace. Peace.